when, when you look at this draft and you know all the analysis that is out, the consensus pretty much is that the best combination of shooting and defense in this draft is you. One, mm. do you agree with that? Mm. And two, do you think it's the combination of those two things that set you apart, mm. or is there something else that you think set you apart? Well, I definitely agree that I'm the the best combination of those two, and I just think it's my will to win that sets me apart. I don't really care about stats and glamour and all that. I just want to really win and, and play to win every time, every game. So that's it. I, th I think that's what separates me. What was this process like today for you? Was, it was were you my, nervous at all even? Uh, if I said I wasn't nervous, I'd be lying. So I think, I, I think coming into it, it was nervous. But going into it and everybody talking to me and just getting me through it kind of relaxed me a little bit. And just they just said have some fun with it. So that's what I tried to do. And, um, you know, it was, it was my first workout. So... The first experience that I'll never forget, really. So, you know, it was it was fun to get out here, push myself, and and get through it. When you walk in here, can you see this being home? Uh, I definitely can. You know, like even when I'm finishing working out, like the guys coming up to me, talking to me, like that that, that means a lot to me. Like you know, they're not just walking past me and uh, treat me like I'm just you know another dude working out. You know, they shaking my hand, telling me good working out with that. So it means a lot to me. You mentioned that those are your first workout. Did you meet with the Magic uh -huh. at the combine? Uh, no, I did not. I only met with the um, with the Thunder, but um, we wasn't able to able to meet. It just didn't work out. So we, we, we said that we was gonna meet when I came down to work out. So. So I guess what are your impressions of the people that you have been able to meet? You know, Jeff, John, you uh -huh. know, the player, you know, yeah. players that you see around here. Uh, we had great conversations. You know, just talking about the league in general, how the league is changing. You know, um, uh, expectations I see myself doing in the league and and what I could see myself being. So we had some good talks and good laughs and. Stories talking about my dad and you know, just just stories about our our our, our world of basketball. I know it's been you know been some years since your dad was in the process, mm -hmm. but has he given you any advice? You know, any uh, <laughs> no, it's been a minute. Yeah, him. he has. He he given me a lot of advice. You know, basically everything I know. You know, just always telling me to always have fun with it and and um, give it my all. You know, basketball gonna be taken away from you sooner or later. So just having fun with it and. And, and enjoying it, you know, not doing it for the glamours and, and the cameras, just doing it for the love of the game and, 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 and to win. Jabari, each year guys come into the league and mm -hmm. they show some things that maybe they didn't necessarily show in college. For mm -hmm. you in particular, what, what are some of the things that you think you'll be able to show in the, in the mm -hmm. league that maybe you just didn't necessarily show at the collegiate level? Uh, I think I'll be able to show my passing ability, you know, my ability to make the right play and not, um, not settle for tough shots. And I think my shot selection will improve a lot at the next level with just making the right pass, uh, playing out of ball screens, and just, you know, making the right reads. Why do you feel you should be the number one pick in the draft? Um, like you said, I just feel like my will to win, and I just, I, I can do so much. Like, I feel like I can come in right away and just make an instant impact to any team with my shooting ability, my ability to play defense, and just, and just like, all of it. Like, the ability to play defense, get a rebound and push it, um, ability to guard multiple positions, I feel like that separates me from a lot of people. When you think about this roster, how well do you feel you'll fit in with it? Do you feel like you could take this team to the next level? Um, I think I can fit in really well. You know, just seeing seeing the guys and seeing the players, like, this is a young team, one of the youngest in the league. So adding me would just add another another young player who's hungry and, 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 and got a lot left in the tank, you know what I mean? So I'll add some energy and just some another person who wants to come in and work and just get this organization where it needs to be. Will there be others? Uh, yes, I have one more workout with OKC, and uh, that'll be it. Okay. How much does being the number one pick matter to you? Yes. Um, I think it matters a lot, you know, with the, with, with the names that have been the number one pick, and, you know, um, just the expectations and the pressure that comes with it. I think I'm ready for it, and I think it means a lot to me. Jabari, I don't know if last year you were able to watch many of the Magic games, you know, with everything you had mm -hmm. going on, but kind of from what you've seen, what have your impressions mm -hmm. been of this team and this organization? Um, I say the games that I do watch, I watch a lot of NBA games, and the games that I did watch of them, I could tell how much fun they were having, no matter the record or, like, um, the struggles they faced this season. It never looked like you, – you'll never guess that their record was what it was, you know what I mean? Like, just watching them play and, like, the joy they had, it was, you'll think they're playing a game seven of the finals, like, every game, you know what I mean? Like, they're playing to win every game. Nobody's, like, moping around because it's a tough season. It's like everybody's still got that pop and that energy. So it was good to see that. Um, in this team. Is there a player in the league that you compare yourself to stylistically? Um, it'll, it'll be hard for me to choose one player because I try to take something from everybody. But I like to watch, you know, guys who can do a lot, like Giannis on the defensive end, you know, like Jason Tatum, um, Kevin Durant, of course. Just watching people who can just do a lot, you know, who are not limited and uh, have a lot of, a lot of stuff to their game.
Do you have three months since, since the college season ended? What what have you been focusing on? You know, as you're preparing for the draft, mm. what have you been focusing on to improve and kind of show teams? As you know, you talked about the passing ability, but what have you been focusing on? You're trying to show teams as you're getting ready for the draft process for the next season. Um, basically, just um, trying to get my body right, getting in shape, getting stronger. You know, because as you see, the the NBA level, you got to be in a different type of shape and a different type of physicality, and your body has to be in a different type of a different type of level. So just I would say that for the most part, you know, ball handling and just keeping my skills sharp, you know, just working on stuff that I would do in the game and I would use in the game. Uh, we've, uh, here in Orlando, we've obviously seen uh, how good how good Auburn can be with, with, with Chuma. What was the biggest thing that, that you learned from, from your year from your year at Auburn, from your year in college? Um, I would say, like, relationships. I would say, like, off the court, like, basketball fun. You know, don't, don't take it for granted. Like, college is just a, a great experience for me in general. Like, I made brothers that – that's a lifetime. I met coaches that I'll talk to for the rest of my life. So it's just, I would say from the outside, I would say that, you know, like just how short I was at Auburn and how much I'm connected to Auburn is just was a big deal for me. So I would just say relationships and how important it is to build relationships with your teammates and how it would translate to the court. Jordan, do you have previous relationships with any of the guys here? I would imagine Chuma. Um, you know, yeah, with Chuma and Wendell being from Georgia, you know, I watched them when I was in high school, when I was in middle school coming up, watching them play and then watching them in college, you know, it's, it's, obvious for me to look up to them and, and you know, watch them as, as, th as they're coming from where I'm from. You know, it's easy for me to watch them and, and, and just be happy for them. What do you think about Coach Mosley? What were your impressions of him? Um, real in detail, you know what I mean? Really, really watching me and not only was he, was he trying to um, give me tips to help me get to the workout, but he was also pushing me and, and, and telling me to do different things and not react to certain things. You know, I'm my toughest critic, so if I'm missing, I'm just real. I'm a, I'm real hard on myself, but you know he's telling me just don't worry about it. You know, treat it like you're back at home working out. So that's what I try to do. When you watch the finals right now, are you watching them as a basketball fan, mm -hmm. or are you watching them as the realization of I'm gonna be playing against these guys uh -huh. in about three months? Um, is, are you, or is it kind of both? Uh, kind of both. You know what I mean? I kind of watch situations and see where I can see myself in, in certain situations. Watch players and see what I would have did in certain situations. Just trying to see where I can fit in and see where I see myself dominating in this league. It seemed like half the roster was here to watch you uh, be here in the gym. What does that kind of mean to you to, to have those guys here to watch you? Um, like I said, it means a lot. And, you know, they're all here for a reason to, you know, go in there and work out. So it's like teams usually don't have half of their team still at home around this time. So it's just like that, that, that means something. You know, they're real hungry and real, real close, it seems like. So you see they're trying to, trying to work and get to that next level. Jabari, going through all these meetings and everything with these teams, what do you want them when you leave to know about you? What do you want their takeaway to be about Jabari Smith Jr.? Um, I want it to be that um, I'm a team player. Like, I'm not worried about stats or, or accolades and like that. I really just, like, my main goal in life is to win, is to win the NBA championship. So that's just, that's just what I want to do, and that's my goal. No matter if I average 30, no matter if I average 10, like, that's just what I want to do. Whatever a team needs me to do, to, to impact winning, that's what I do. Now you said that you only interviewed with OKC back in the combine. Mm -hmm. you, you haven't uh, worked out for them yet, but has there, was there anything about the process, you know, with the Magic from a working mm -hmm. out or just interview standpoint mm -hmm. that stood out with you? Um, I would say just how how happy everybody is. You know, you don't see that everywhere you go. Like even on college visits, you can see some assistants don't. Some people don't talk, but it seems like everybody interacts. Everybody's around the facility, laughing, you know, joking around you know, getting their work done, but it just seems like everybody's so together. And that's what kind of stood out with me when I chose Auburn. Like, it just seems like a family around here, and, and, and it's noticeable. Has it, hit you yet? Has it hit you yet that this is a job now? Like, <laughs> this is a business now. You're going to yeah. have off-court decisions to make, uh -huh. choose stuff. I mean, all sorts of deals are going to get mm -hmm. thrown your way, however it goes in a couple of weeks. Um, Has that, how do you balance all that, or are you blocking all that kind of out right now? Um, I have a good support staff with me. I got my dad who's been through everything that I'm going through, so. It's good to have him with me and just help me get through it and, and him telling me that my main focus is basketball right now. You know, don't worry about the shoe stuff will come and I got people to handle that and, and you know, at the end of the day it's my decision, but I got people to, 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 to handle that side and he just wants me to focus on the court and just focus on getting better. Thank you everyone. Appreciate y'all.